Hey everyone, M. Lies Brendan Quinn here at Value City Arena following Michigan's 76-66 loss to Ohio State in a game that Michigan needed for two reasons. One, to keep pace in the Big Ten, and two, to keep adding wins uh, on its NCAA tournament resume. A resume that, until tonight, uh, one of the big check marks it had was no bad losses. No losses to teams outside uh, the, the top 50 of the RPI. The Buckeyes, they're at about 80 or so. So now Michigan's uh, resume has, uh, not a black eye, that's probably overstating things, but uh, prior to tonight, every loss had been against a, a pretty much a marquee team uh, with a very strong NCAA tournament resume and profile. Uh, Ohio State is not that. Michigan very, very likely lost to an NIT team tonight. Um, so what does that mean moving forward? Uh, there are opportunities left for Michigan to continue to build that resume uh, and solidify itself for Selection Sunday, but that got a lot tougher uh, with tonight's loss for, for two reasons. Michigan didn't look very good uh, in the win or in the loss. Um, Karis LeVert didn't play, so his return is still very much a work in progress that has way more questions than answers. Um, so with games left at Maryland, home against Northwestern, at Wisconsin, and I would home, um, yeah, you have to wonder what they're going to be able to, to turn out of that. I, I had said all along coming into tonight, they needed to go 2-3 and three over the stretch to really feel good about themselves. I thought that 11 win mark in the league would put them in very good shape going into the Big Ten tournament where, in theory, they would pick up one more win or so, and that would leave you having a pretty stress-free selection Sunday. This was a game that, that could have been one of those two wins in terms of the last five games, um, and, and what's left is not easy outside of uh, that home game against Northwestern. Uh, winning at Maryland is one of the toughest feats in the Big Ten. Winning at Wisconsin right now is brutally difficult because Wisconsin's one of the hottest teams in the country, let alone the conference, and a season finale against Iowa, for all you know, uh, the Hawkeyes might be going for a regular season championship in that game and come out guns blazing. So... Um, Michigan did some damage to itself tonight and to its NCAA tournament resume. Um, not, it didn't trash it. It didn't, it didn't roll up into a ball and, and throw it to the side, but um, they would have felt really good about themselves, I think, leaving tonight uh, at 9-4 at, at in the league instead of 8-5 now in a three-way tie for fifth place with Purdue and these Buckeyes. So uh, we'll see what happens next Sunday uh, in College Park, Michigan, Maryland. Terps will be going for revenge from a loss in Ann Arbor. Michigan will be looking to recover from, obviously, tonight. And uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, and I will be there to tell you about it. Uh, so, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.